Hello folks, it is I, and I don't know, it's about 7 o'clock in the evening, although it looks like it's midnight out there, and here I am in the barn, and I've got my little alpaca chute slash catch pen, whatever you want to call it, uh, more or less finished. So I'll just give you a little pan around here. Here's my boys, big boys, my little boys. My girls over here. Hi girls. How's everybody? Looking very mangry. Uh, now this is my little catch pen. I finally got everything done on these two sections here. Definitely got better at it on the by the time I was doing the second one. So all of these little uh, brackets here fit perfectly on the posts and everything locks in place once it needs to be locked. The hard part about this was that it has to be able to um, click tight in both sides equidistant on each one. So I've got all that finished. All my brackets, they also had to be nice and strong. No sharp edges that the alpacas could bump themselves on and it has to just fit really nice. I've got cement uh, patio stones underneath, uh, 30 inches by 24 inches, so there's just enough width so they stick out the sides. Nice and level. I can now put my scale, which is over there at the moment, over here when I need to weigh them. And otherwise, uh, they can come in here. Uh, for the ones that won't stand still for having their nails trimmed and things like that, we can put them in here and do that kind of stuff. So a nice and cozy little spot. Uh, any kind of grooming, any kind of anything. If you want, if we want one of them to be still and comfy, this is the thing to do it. It's great for training. Uh, we'll find all kinds of good uses for it. Uh, and the nice thing about it is that I can tighten this two notches so I can pull this gate into this notch and have it that much tighter or I can pull it into this notch as well and have it even tighter so that the gates would be in much closer. So I've got three different settings uh, which should be more than adequate. Originally I was thinking of having all kinds, I had all kinds of thoughts of pulley systems and things to tighten it. Uh, it just didn't make sense after a while of fiddling. Uh, and this just seemed to be the most stable and secure method. And if you notice, well, you can't see, but this is pretty, pretty stable. Like an average bumping around alpaca will not uh, shift this at all. Nice and firm, stable, secure. And um, it's, I think, in a very good place for the alpacas. Uh, it doesn't use up too much space. I think it's a good, useful little setup. But until we try it, we won't know if there's any little wrinkles to be ironed out. Um, but I feel pretty accomplished after a lot of hours fiddling around in the basement. And now it's there. Tomorrow morning, uh, we try it all out. And also, because it's nice and warm out, I have a big pile of poop that's been put not too far from the barn, which we're going to spread on the garden. Uh, so I'm going to do that too. Uh, but it feels good this uh, late winter, uh, or maybe all mild winter, I don't know, but it's really giving us a little bit of chance of t for catching up on things. So just another little, while well, I got the camera on overview, there's our hay here and here. I got to pick up some more really soon as well and that's pretty well it i can stick in to well actually maybe i'll do that on another video or else it'll get too long on here